with Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Certainly a nasty system that's been moving across the country. We still have a weather aware in place going into the overnight. We do. There's, most of us are not going to be dealing with any severe weather for the rest of the evening, but there's still an area southeast of Birmingham. We still need to keep an eye on for the next couple of hours here. Then things will be all clear. Right now, though, downtown, we do have some showers coming by. Little winds out there, too, and uh, pretty quiet from our BJCC camera. Temperatures coming in 73 degrees. Winds have been up to 14, gusting over 20 at times. The dew point number has been climbing, too. If you haven't been outside recently. It's definitely muggier now than it was earlier in the day, and that's what is some of that fuel for those storms. Now, there's still part of the area that could still have a chance of seeing some damaging winds, some hail, and maybe even a few tornadoes as well, too. As we do have the highest threat for us today is going to be the high winds, a low chance of tornadoes, a medium chance of some large hail in spots, and flooding not really a huge concern for us. Western Alabama, you're in the clear there. From Tuscaloosa, Utah, Jasper area back to Coleman to the west, no more threat of severe weather. The rest of us here in yellow do have the tornado watch until 2 o'clock in the morning. Here is that line of continuous to work its way through the region here. This little skinny line from Aniana to Birmingham to just between Tuscaloosa and Brent is the cold front. And once that pushes through, that will end our severe threat. You can see temperatures a little cooler in the 60s and spots behind the front. But it's definitely becoming more humid out there, and that's become a little bit more fuel from what we're looking at. Bigger picture does show some big storms. Now our first severe thunderstorm warning just now popping up here uh, for this storm down to the south. Let me go ahead and stop this, and we'll uh, move in. It is including part there of a Chilton County and you can see here uh, it does include this thunderstorm. A lot of lightning been tied in with this as it moves through the area too. There you see that warning coming on in that does go until 11 o'clock tonight for Chilton County there back to Perry County. We've seen some strong winds with these and these continue to move off there to the east and eventually heading toward the Clanton area as well too. So uh, with that in mind, giving a little storm track on there. Let me zoom back into it and we can see here what we're talking about with that. And as the storm moves into those regions, it could produce maybe some gusty winds potential there for maybe some heavy rain and maybe some hail mixed in as well, too. And kind of giving an idea with this kind of moving. They're moving pretty quickly here, uh, just about near 50 miles per hour. And you can see it gets into Maplesville around 1022. A new covered cover, convert there right around, say, 1025. Isabella around 1028. Highland 1036. Clanton around 1041. Verbena around 1040. So going to be watching that storm as it continues that way off there to the east. Again, expect winds potentially 60 miles per hour, maybe some hail mixed in and a lot of lightning tied in with that system as it moves through. So that is the main part of the line here, kind of getting stretched back down to the south. Could be impacting the Montgomery area. But what we'll be watching is when that storm kind of works its way here to southeastern part of the area. Coosa, Tallapoosa, Talladega County is there, part of Chilton County. That's when they could ramp up a little bit more all ahead of this front. Behind the front, much cooler air will move in. And that's something we'll see for tomorrow. But you still have that level three enhanced risk for much of the state here, level two for the rest of the region as well. And you can see there is that little more energy. This is in storm fuel or instability as it works its way into parts there, southeastern part of central Alabama until about one o'clock in the morning. That's where you have enough energy and also some wind energy. Notice here the brighter colors showing up here from Montgomery to the north. That same zone is what we're watching as we get into about midnight to 1 a.m. or maybe the storms could pulse up a little bit there and have highlighted that area. Low chance you can see to the north from Birmingham to the Gadsden area. Greater chance for that area south of Aniston back down to the about I-85 corridor. So make sure you're weather aware. Have the app, turn on the weather radio, charge up your phone and know your safe spot in case we do have a tornado warning popping up. So there are the storms here through 10 o'clock again moving there again into Chilton County. That's what we're talking about with that new severe thunderstorm warning now popping up. That'll move its way to Coosa County by 11 o'clock here into Sylacauga area in Alex City and then eventually moving off away from us by one o'clock in the morning. And by tomorrow, we are waking up to some sunshine and much cooler, breezy conditions out there. And that's going to be the rule. Cool and breezy weather throughout the day tomorrow. High of only 63. We stay in the 60s through Saturday, but check out Friday and Saturday morning. Lows in the 30s. We're talking frosty conditions out there, but we warm up on Sunday with some rain returning early next week. That's the Lugia Storm Team 7-day forecast. More coming up right after this.